Ish. So, a good portrait coming along. Now, um, there are two things that we do in art. One is we paint what we know and second is we paint what we see. So, probably you are working on what you, you draw or you paint what you see. But then, I want you to now concentrate on what you know as well. So, uh, there are many artists who follow a ratio between what they see and what they know. So, uh, after reaching a point, I feel as an artist, you must paint 50% what you know and then 50% what you see. So, when you paint from life, this will actually... Uh, be very helpful to capture things as you see but then exaggerate as you know so here from the reference you have done what you see but then to exaggerate it more to take it to a next next level what what more can be done on this portrait first thing i feel that the eye uh, i think um Position of eye is not an issue, but the light you see a very strong light hitting around this side of the face You need to think about the edge quality Also with edge quality. I mean you can see the edge is visible. It's dark Then here where the eyebrow meets the hair the edge is merged then again, it's visible then it's of a lighter value and here you, you can see the background and the cheek the edge is again merging so it is all about lost and found edges so this is a found edge again lost found lost found and so on so here you can see there is a lost edge right so this is what you need to concentrate on lost and found edges secondly the direction of the light so light is very strong here so to make the face more uh, to have more volume in the face right so nose is coming forward the cheek is going back we need more of light and shadow so you need to take you need to take your eraser and actually lighten this side of the face now here on the nose this side of the nose the, the form shadow it's a it's a visible edge but where is on the other side it's lost so the um, the ratio or the, how the lost and found edges work it's very interesting here on the lip you can see lost edge here lost edge so edge quality edge control is it's, it's very important from now onwards when you are able to uh, when other sectors like drawing value is perfect with you features are looking good placement is excellent now let's talk about the hair hair is something which is kept on the forehead right so there should there is shadow shape of the hair being created on the forehead so you need to actually to make it feel like okay it's kept above there is the head or the skull you need to create this shadow shape around this area like like here as it is shown in the picture now reflected light reflected light is light but it is not as light as the highlight so if this is light this will be even lighter right so the value between uh, always recall the nine step value scale. But this is the first swatch which is white. This is probably the second swatch here. So this value and this value, the reflected light and the highlight will never match. Apart from that, I think um, you're doing a good job. Definitely there's character, definitely it is looking like the person. Um, the muse and overall good work.